So first, let's talk about creating your avatar and understanding who you're writing to and why it's so important. So what is a customer avatar? Well, a customer avatar is commonly referred to as a buyer persona, a marketing persona, or a customer profile. It's the representation of your ideal customer, okay? So think about this. You have a business, and if you look at all your clients, they likely have a lot of things in common, right? What is it that they have in common? Now, if you can aggregate all the things that they have in common, you can put together some type of representation um, of who your ideal customer is. And so we're gonna, take a, a, we're gonna take a look and see what that looks like. So this is what your customer avatar looks like. Your customer avatar will help you understand who your ideal customer is. It's gonna help you understand where they're congregating online. It's gonna help you understand what their problems and pain points are. These are all very important things to understand because when you're writing your ad copy, you know, here's the thing, people don't buy products. Okay, they, buy, they buy solutions to their problems, right? So you have to understand what your customer avatar's problems are, what their pain points are. You know, I have to say, I always say, you know, what's their problem? Agitate that problem, then provide a solution, right? So you have to know what your customer avatar's problems are. You have to understand where they're congregating online. That's important too because when you're starting, you know, to actually run ads on YouTube, you know, you're going to want to run ads on channels that they are looking at or you know what interests and hobbies they are they're going to be watching videos um, about things that they're interested in you know things that they have hobbies in so you want to be able to target that type of that type of content um, and then again you know people like to buy people people like to buy things from people who look like them and act like them you know there's uh, there's a re you know it's easier to be build relationships because they have a lot more things in common so you know we want to be able to know who our customer avatar is and we want to be able to show content that looks like them. So your customer avatar, it's an important part of creating your ad copy because it allows you to address the specific problems and desires of your prospective buyers, okay? So this is a step that you definitely do not want to skip, but here's the thing, everyone skips it. Don't skip it. You want to put together your customer avatar. And you may have multiple customer, you know, you can have one product that is used by a lot of different demographics. You know, both men and women can use your product and enjoy the benefits of your product, but you want to be very specific in your messaging, right? So, you know, what appeals to women may not necessarily appeal to men, okay? So you want a, a different customer avatar and a different ad campaign for each demographic that you're targeting. So let's take a, a closer look. Now we've got an example here. This guy's name is Tommy Technology. And we're gonna take a look of, of all the different aspects that you will use when building your customer avatar. So first let's take a look at background. So if we look at our background here of Tommy Technology, um, he's a staff accountant and founder. Um, he's a staff accountant at Founder Accounting. He completed his undergraduate degree at Penn State and his master's at Cornell University. And he has a serious girlfriend and two dogs a Labrador Retriever and a Pug mix, right? So that's his background. Let's look at his demographics. He's male. Um, he, his age is 34. His annual household income is $125,000. He lives in a townhouse style condo in an urban area. Let's look at some of his goals here. He wants to become a senior accountant within three to five years. He wants to achieve a salary of $80,000 so that he can purchase a single family home and he wants to network aggressively in order to build professional contacts, right? So look at this. So think about this. You know, you've got a guy here, seems like a pretty stable guy, pretty good guy. You know, he's got his degree here. So, you know, he's an educated guy. He's got a serious girlfriend and two kids. Well, here's the thing. You know, if we look at this, he probably wants to get married at some point, right? He's probably wanting to get married and start a family. But, uh, you know, he knows that in order to do that, you know, look, he's right now he's living in a in a townhouse style condo in an urban area, well, he probably wants to settle down in the suburbs somewhere, get a nice house and start a family, right? Which is why he wants to achieve an $80,000 salary so he can purchase that single family home, right? So, you know, we're starting to know a little bit more about Tommy. We're starting, a little bit, we're starting to learn a little bit more about, you know, his, his motivations and what he wants. And then we can use those when crafting our ad copy. And you'll see how that plays an important part in writing our copy here in a minute. His hobbies and interests, they include running 5K races with his girlfriend, watching Game of Thrones, 
going out to brunch with other young couples, taking one nice vacation a year to established tourist destinations, right? So he's probably not the riskiest guy. He probably likes to kind of go with the flow. Social proof is going to be something that's important to him because, again, he likes to go to established vacation, um, established uh, tourist destinations, right? So let's look at some of his challenges. So he wants to have a more modern website, but isn't the final decision maker. Um, he struggles with being seen as the younger guy um, in the office and being taken less seriously as a result, right? Look at common objections. I love the idea of a new website, but my boss will never go for it. He doesn't see the value in the new technology. Um, I'd love to get started on a new website, but I don't think I, I can get a buy-in from my boss. He never takes my ideas seriously. Let's take a look at his biggest fears. You know, getting stuck in a job, not advancing up the corporate ladder as quickly as he'd like. You know, economic recessions that mean he'll never be able to retire. You know, life passing him by too quickly. So if I'm able to identify his biggest fears, then at the front of the ad, at the beginning of the ad, you know, I want to be able to identify his problems. I want to be able to agitate his pain by, you know, injecting that fear into the ad copy because I know what his biggest fears are here, right? So, so I'm really agitating the pain. Um, and then I could say, look, man, you know, you deserve this life. Imagine if you, like, say you were selling a financial product. You could say, look, you know, you went and got this degree. You thought that you're going to make a lot more money, you know. The, the system told you that you need to go to school to get an education, and then you got this amazing degree, you spent all this money, you got student loans, and you're not making the money that you thought you would make, and everything's a lot different than what you thought you'd make, right? And you're afraid right now that you, you know, you're going to get stuck at a job, and you're not advancing up the corporate ladder as quickly as you'd like, and you know, there's an economic recession looming right ahead, and you feel like you know, your life is passing you by too quickly, right? So. But you know, you you know, so you, we we're able to identify this, and so now we're able to show them, you know, what life could like, you know, what life could look like for him. So imagine this, you know, look, you know, your goals are to become a senior accountant within three to five years. You know, you want to be able to make more money so that you can finally marry your girlfriend and have a family and get out of that tiny, you know, tiny condo um, in the city and have something that has a little bit more space so that you can raise a family. Right? So I'm able to, you know, all you would do in this case was you would, would inject how your product, how your product would move them from kind of their problem um, to, you know, the solution. And we're going to talk about that in, in what we call Heaven and Hell Island here in a bit. And we're also going to show you how, you know, we, we take all of these elements and we inject them into the perfect ROI ads formula to create really amazing copy that gets you really amazing conversions.